What's up guys? So today's video is going to be choosing your nursing specialty based on your personality. So guys, one of the things about being an ER nurse is I come in contact with a lot of different personalities, a lot of different people, a lot of different kind of dynamics because that's kind of the one thing about the ER is that you're always encountering different types of people, not just the people that you work with, but you know the people that you treat, your patients, uh, different types of physicians that you run into. So the ER is a good place to kind of get a well-rounded idea of types of personalities that you're going to come in contact with and you know we I've done a video on this for about the specialties and personalities and things like that so we know that that all nursing specialties have certain personalities or certain traits about them but I wouldn't say that it's necessarily set in stone I mean you're gonna have a wide range of personalities and different types of people in every specialty that's just the way it is all right guys so let's get into like the five personality types that i think will help you choose a nursing specialty one of the one of the biggest things that i think one of the biggest issues that i have with nursing school in general is that is that they don't give you enough time in the clinical setting to make a really good choice on the type of uh clinicals that you that you want or the, or the type of specialty that you want you know that's a that's a big issue with me i think they should spend a lot more time because many times you don't get but like a day you know you get a day or two on you get some on med surge you get a little bit of psych you get some on icu possibly er you know so you don't have when you're in nursing school you don't have a a real understanding or even a real you, you don't you're not dialed into the type of nurses or the type of personalities that are in each profession so how are you supposed to make a choice so anyway, so I'm going to go over these five tips that I think, and I'm going to base it on personality traits that I think will help you choose a nursing specialty. So let's get into it. All right, guys. So trait number one, you're an extrovert, but you're an organized extrovert. And this is kind of, you know, I'm going to break it down. I'm going to have extroverts that are ADD like myself, or you're going to have these extroverts that are very organized. And I think that those, those nerd or those people tend to go to like ICU or OR where there's a structure where there's a process about everything where there's things that you can you know in place that that just fits your personality better and so I would definitely say if you're an extrovert or an OR I mean an extrovert or organized that you definitely want to look at ICU or OR because ICU can be very very boring but then and I don't want to say that I'm saying that the wrong way. I don't I don't want to mean any disrespect to you ICU nurses, but you know it can be boring, and then all of a sudden somebody crashes on you. You know you're watching this patient in there, um, you're watching the monitor, you're watching the vent settings. You know you're just constantly watching this patient, and then all of a sudden they crash. So it's sort of like being a pilot. And if you guys don't know, I'm a pilot, and we have the saying that. You know it can be hours flying is hours and hours and hours of boredom followed by just seconds of straight terror and that's a good way i think to side uh, to talk about icu is it's kind of around that basis that you're you're in there you're monitoring you're very in depth though when i say boring i'm talking about you're very in depth on the processes that are going on you're using your brain a little bit more so i would definitely say that's a good statement for icu for or you know it can be very similar um the or is definitely going to be dealing with type a personalities in there with a lot of the physicians i don't know if you if you've ever been around surgeon you're going to find out real quick that a lot of them are type a a lot of them are assholes um but you know it is what it is and that's probably why they're great surgeons so just keep that in mind guys so let's move on to number two number two personality trait would be 
somebody like myself that's very extroverted, very outgoing, but is also very or unorganized, very ADD type of personality. Um, that Those people, obviously, I'm an ER nurse, we fit into the ER. So if you're that type of personality, if you like the adrenaline a little bit, you know, go to the ER. But you're going to be kind of shocked if you go to the ER and you're expecting like just gunshot wounds and trauma and all of this stuff. And then you get there and you're just like, wait, what? what are, why am I dealing with this person with a runny nose? Because that's going to happen a lot as well. So be prepared for that. But that's definitely um, one of the personality traits I say would be extrovert, ADD. They like the chaos. They like the action. So if you like that, try taking a look at ER. Okay, guys, number three personality trait, I would say like someone that's like very mild mannered and, um, excuse me, I got to get straight. I got my button a little too damn far. It would be that mild manner, mannered personality. You know, somebody that doesn't get too high, they don't, they don't get too low. Um, I think, you know, those people, if you're like that, you probably need to look at something like progressive care, step down units. You know, you're not overwhelmed. Uh, and possibly med surge as well. Um, you're not overwhelmed, but you need to, you know, you don't need to get too high, too low, um, and be very mild mannered. And as well, that can work in the ER. So just because, you know, we need people that have calm types of personalities in the ER, you can't get too high or too low in there as well. So, but generalizing, this is what we're doing. We're generalizing today. I would just say, look at like ER or look at like progressive care first, uh, step down units, Look at something like that, possibly ER. All right, guys, the number four personality trait I would have to say is like the nurturer, somebody who just loves babies. I talked about this in one of my videos before. You know, this person likes delivering babies. They like dealing with kids. Um, the nurturer is definitely something that is such a good personality to have. It's actually, Again, one of those types of personalities that I, I just like to be around. I love being around like nurturing people. And also, if you're that type of personality, um, look at like L&D with labor and delivery and look at, you know, peds, any, any of that stuff, any of that, anything that's dealing with babies, you know, any NICU, any of that stuff. I mean, because those types of personalities are, are needed in, in that environment. So definitely look into that. And also, side note for you guys, if you're thinking about doing travel nursing like I am, I would definitely look into labor and delivery. They make absolute bank on travel assignments. And I was looking at it the other day, and I've, I've known this for a while, but I mean, they make almost double what I make as an ER nurse. Not quite, but close to it. On a weekly basis, they make really, really good money. So just take a look at that. You know, look at that those before you make that decision because if you see that pay grade and you see what, how much money they're making on travel assignments, definitely take a look into that. Guys, finally, number five, <laughs> this is kind of, this is kind of a funny one, but like, just say you like dealing with like really, really not bad patients, but really patients that will basically not like you. Um, and we definitely have those in the ER, but if you really, really like that, you need to look at going to dialysis. It is traditionally known that dialysis patients treat nurses like crap. And, you know, you got to think about why that is. Think about, you know, why most of the people that are in dialysis, I mean, not always, but a lot of them cause their own problems. They either drank too much, didn't take care of themselves, let their hypertension get out of control, whatever it may be. And they have now landed themselves in the position that they are. So you got to think they're, they're not liking life right now. You know, they're, they're not going to like a lot of things that are going on. So who is their outlet to take that out on? Who is around them a lot when they come there? And a lot of times these people don't have a lot of friends and family, so they're going to take it out on you. You know, you're the scapegoat as the nurse, not the physician, not the, uh, not the PA, not the nurse practitioner not any of that, it's gonna be you. So definitely keep that in mind. If you like being treated like shit, look at dialysis nursing. And again, guys, this is just a generalization, but you know, I thought that you needed to know about it. So, all right, guys, that's all I have for today. Um, 
just a quick video. Just want to do this real quick and let you guys know. I have a, uh, I'm going to night shift now, so I'm on days. I want to go do a little shopping today, hang out, do whatever. So, um, but yeah. All right, guys, that's the video for today. I hope you guys have a, get, a great day, great weekend, and don't forget to do something good today. I'm out. Thank you.